Section 2.4, Multiplication of Matrices. So we can add and subtract matrices, so we can also multiply with matrices. We can multiply an entire matrix by a scalar. This means that each element in the matrix is multiplied by that same scalar item. So let's determine what negative 5 times A would be. So our matrix A is 3, 4, 0, negative 1. So we want to multiply each item in each element in that matrix by negative 5. So 3 times negative 5, 0 times negative 5, 4 times negative 5, negative 1 times negative 5. So that would be negative 15, negative 20, 0, and 5. We can multiply uh, by a scalar with any kind of matrix. There's no limitations to what kind of scalar we can use. However, multiplying two matrices together is slightly more involved. Let's say we want to find the product of these two matrices. We have a 2 by 3, and we want to multiply that by a 3 by 1. So we need to make sure these two are the same. And when that happens, our new matrix are going to be the outside numbers here. So we're going to have a new matrix that's a 2 by 1. So how to multiply is the following. I'm going to take my top row with this whole thing. I'm going to kind of work um, left and top. So I want to take 2 times 1 plus my middle ones, 3 times 8 plus negative 1 times 6. And then simplify. So 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 8 is 24, and uh, negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. And we can use order of operations here to add, giving us 20. Okay. Now I'm going to take the bottom row times this whole item here and do just as I did before. So I'm going to take 4 times 1 plus 2 times 8 plus 2 times 6. So kind of going left and top all the way down. So 4 plus 16 plus 12. And when I add them all together, we get 32. So we just created a 2 by 1 matrix. I know this is weird to think about, considering we started with a 2 by 3. We multiplied it by a 3 by 1 just to get a simple 2 by 1. Let's find the product of C times D. So here we have a 2 by 3, and we're going to multiply it by a 3 by 2. So these items are the same, so we're able to multiply. Our resulting matrix will be a 2 by 2. Okay, And we will start, we will do the top row with the left hand column doing the same technique we did in the last one. So negative 3 times negative 6 plus 4 times 2 plus 2 times 3. So 18 plus 8 plus 6 <clears throat> adding together gives us 32. Right. Now let's take the bottom by the right. And when I think bottom right, so I'm multiplying the bottom by the right, we want to go the bottom column, the right. So we're looking, this is the element we're, we're filling in. So 5 times 4 plus 0 times 3 plus 4 times negative 2. So we have 20 plus 0 minus 8, so 12. 
Let's now do the top right. So we're going to do the top right. So negative 3 times 4 plus 4 times 3 plus 2 times negative 2, giving us negative 12 plus 12 minus 4. So negative 4. And finally we need to do the bottom left. So we're going to do the bottom left. So 5 times negative 6 plus 0 times 2 plus 4 times 3. So negative 30 plus 0 plus 12, so negative 18. And it doesn't matter which element you do um, in what order at all. Um, you can do whatever elements you see, whatever elements you see fit. Uh, you try this one. Here we have a 2 by 2 times a 2 by 2. Pause the video, and when you're ready and uh, tried this one, uh, we'll, we'll come back together and, and see if we can't do it together. So here we have a 2 by 2, and we're going to multiply that by another 2 by 2. So our internal ones here match. So we're going to end up with a 2 by 2 for a solution. So let's start with the top the top left so we'll have 3 times 1 plus 4 times negative 2 so 3 plus a negative 8 giving us negative 5 um, let's do top right so 3 times negative 2 plus 4 times negative 4. Negative 6 minus 16 gives us negative 22. Let's do bottom left. 1 times 1 plus 2 times negative 2. So 1 plus a negative 4, which is negative 3. And finally, the bottom right. 1 times negative 2 plus 2 times negative 4. Negative 2 plus negative 8 gives us negative 10. Now you could have done your elements in a different order, but you should still end up with the final element or the final matrix the same as mine. Are we able to multiply A times B? So it looks like we have a 2 by 3 and we want to multiply that by a 2 by 2. Well here, these aren't the same. So no, we can't. And this concludes section 2.4 on multiplication.